This is my fresh fruit that I had vacuum sealed about a week and a half or two weeks ago. I'm gonna open some because this was extra that I had vacuum sealed. So in order me to do it with one hand and film at the same time, I put a dime on top. Oh, first let me show you that it is sealed. I grab it from the very tip and it's not opening. So I put a dime over here. You're gonna hear the noise. So of when it gets opened, you put a dime on here so you don't mess up the lid and I can reuse it again. Then you get a regular can opener like this and you put it up like this. You gotta put it there so that this stays there and watch. Did you hear that swoosh? There you go. That's how you can tell this was vacuum sealed and look at how fresh it looks. Bright and red, fresh, no odor, moist. What I did was I used a sterilized mason jar. It has to be dry. Even though the fruit, you try to uh, wipe it, you know, wash it and, and let it drip dry on a towel. And you put it in as, as, as dry as you can in a clean, dry jar. And then you put the lid on top and put the jar sealer adapter in your food saver vacuum sealer and vacuum it. It will stay fresh in your refrigerator for weeks, longer. And so that's how it sounds when you open it. It's still bright red, no fungus, no nothing. Mold or whatever you wanna call it. And I will do the same for the grapes. This one I had open, um, Opened it and we and used some of the grapes, but I also resealed it, vacuum sealed. So that's why you see only a little bit of left in this jar, but it's still fresh. Now I'm gonna open this one. So I, I had to resealed it. Put the dime on top to save the lid so that I can reuse it again. Open it, and I hear the swoosh sound. There, did you hear that? And that's how you can tell this was vacuum sealed and still fresh.